What's up, beautiful people? This is Jim Resonated Lee from ClimateViewer.com and TerraformingInc.com here to give you a little story about the U.S. Army spraying nuclear material, St. Louis, 1953. Uh, Want to hear about it? Here it go. Um, the Manhattan Rochester Coalition research on the health effects of radioactive materials and the tests on vulnerable populations without consent in St. Louis, 1945 to 1970. I'm going to go ahead and say, I have not read this. Um, I'm in the middle of a research project. I found this as um, an accident, and I put something together real quickly just to share with you guys. Um, I made this image um, from the PDF. This PDF has been removed from the Internet, oddly enough. Uh, but I want to bring it back and get it out to you guys. So here we go. I made this image, uh, colored this. This is not on there, but I put the little nuclear icon there for a reason. Um, the U.S. Army Chemical Corps released radioactive material, zinc cadmium sulfide, in St. Louis in 1953. Uh, this is the Clinton School. What they did was they used... Uh, generator uh plume generators in um, station wagons and they put had them on rooftops and released this plume of radioactive material it's uh, pictured there and uh, this was part of a study called behavior of aerosol clouds within cities you can see the re full report here um I went and put this up on my blog. You can come over here to uh, resonated.net. I'll put the link in the details. Manhattan Project in St. Louis. U.S. Army sprays radiation on unsuspecting public. Um, this was brought to my attention by uh, Dutch Sense on uh, YouTube. Had a video up about um, he lives there in St. Louis. And... Uh, the local media had covered it, so um, those details, all of those links are down here at the bottom. Here's the original video where um, his local news um, covered it, and all of the relevant links. Um, but let's get into the details of just the report. This is some very interesting stuff. I'm not going to spend too long on it, but I just want to point out some of the the, the hairier parts. Um, here is the original report. These are the guys that broke the story. Um, it was written by Lisa Martino Taylor as part of her dissertation um, at her college. So um, you can watch all these videos. I'm not going to play any of them, of course. But the but in here, I never found the any anywhere in here where you could read the original. Um, thing so i found this over here uh the manhattan project blah 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 you can click here and do this this is up on web.archive.org go to archive.org it's the wayback machine the internet vcr and uh, i took this copy put it over here and we uh i put it up on scribd so that everybody could get a copy yay um so go over to scribd and check out my copy that i've re-uploaded and um you can scroll through this. It's 800 something pages. You know, read all the details. I don't really care. Um, but here it is. Here's the pictures of the guys in the back of the truck. And it says right here uh, aerosol dispersal crew checking equipment prior to field test. Aerosol is generated from truck as shown. Then you see aerosol dispersal equipment in truck as arranged for field test. Blower generator is on right. Beam scale for weighing tracer material is on box at left with control box in background. <laughs> That's high megapixel camera back there. Um, then finally, typical roof location of aerosol disperser. So that's a, a, uh, a plume generator. It's going to spray the, the cadmium sulfide, zinc cadmium sulfide over the city. There you go. And uh, they had sampling equipment as well. And you, you, know, you can scroll on through here. There's lots of other really good pictures. I'm going to skip through those. Um, one other interesting part that I found uh, kind of really nasty. Uh, you come down here to page 235 and you see synopsis of findings of the GAOs, DOEs, human tissue analysis uh, prepared by Senator John Glenn thank you sir uh, back in 1995 and this goes through a whole lot of stuff that's pretty creepy where they were testing generally speaking dead people um, to find out how much radiation was in their body uh, examples uh, Project Sunshine Strontium 90 in man based on whole wor on worldwide sampling we have duration of study 1950s 
9,000 samples of human bone were procured, including fetuses, single bone samples of all ages and whole skeletons. Samples of 584 whole fetuses were collected, blah, blah, blah. Los Alamos General Population Study, number of subjects, 1,712. Thyroid Collection Program, <laughs> 1,165. Um, and the list just goes on and on and on. I saw one where they were like, we studied two arms and 1,000 bodies. Great stuff um, if you're into the grotesque. So there you go. Read all about um, the studies of radiation and what it does to your body. And hopefully you'll be able to highlight some of these studies and actually go over to Google. And, well, there you go. That might be a little bit tough, but work with it. And you may be able to pull something like this and come over here and actually find it. So good luck with that. Uh, but as it is, we have this map. I've put it up there for you guys to look at. The links are in the details. And... Uh, Watch your government, obviously. <laughs> Good luck, people.